Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So Valentine's Day is just around the corner and we are going to do some Valentine's designs in this video and I've got a lot of fun stuff ahead. I've created some new color palettes for my color blending brushes, some fun stamp brushes, um, all the resources that you see on the today's tutorial um, are going to be available to my Patreon members. But also, if you're not a Patreon member, don't worry, you're going to get a lot of great ideas. And check down below because I'll throw in some sneaky freebies down in the description. So be sure to check that out. And yeah, we're going to get some uh, ideas flowing because actually a few days ago, I had released um, my new color palettes for Valentine's Day to my Patreon. But more importantly, more importantly than just giving you um, some great resources, uh, I want to give you guys some ideas of what to do. So um, over here on the right, you can see my wet paint palettes and these go for any of my mixer brushes, my wet paint mixer brushes. So you have the wet paint studio, um, you've got iridescent, the 24 karat gold brushes. So you can use this with any of my wet brushes. And then here you can see a little um, sheet of my different uh, color blending pattern stamp palettes and these can go for with any of my um, my color blending impressionist brushes so these are the brushes that I use all the time in my designs and illustrations where you make a brush stroke and then multi colors come out and so I already create these pre-made palettes they're really fun to use and I got a lot of inspiration from Adobe color and if you haven't checked it out, be sure to check that out. It's color.adobe.com. There's a lot of great color resources. So these are for the color blending brushes. And also here you can see this is um, the, wet, the wet palette. So what it looks like here when you sample the colors and then when it blends, you get these really cool deep strokes um, with a lot of texture and multicolor. So they look really cool. And so we're just going to get started here. So let's pop into one of my um, ideas. So they're not really like fully done things, just some little ideas to get you get your mind going for Valentine's Day. So here we've got uh, just an idea for a card template. I have got, um, you know, you just got a basic black and white photo and you can use one of the wet brushes to um, create a heart around it. So for this one I used my Wet Paint Brush Studio number five brush, and I used one of my Valentine's palettes here. And whenever you're using the mixer brushes, you just option and click on the layer to sample the colors from that layer. So I sampled all of the colors in this little palette here. And one thing, a little tip, uh, I take, this is, you've got your brush smoothing right here, but if I'm wanting to make sure that I make a really um, smooth stroke, just take your brush smoothing up to 100. So here you can get a little peak because sometimes if I don't, let's take it down to zero, um, it could maybe not look nice. So if I want to have some really smooth lines, um, I'll take it up to 100. So that's how I did that. That is the first demo. So just again, trying to give you guys some ideas on how to use these resources. So I'm always coming up with new palettes, new brushes, but more than that, I want to give you some ideas. So here we have got a little quickie card design. So for this one, I actually um, stamp, use these stamp brushes. And by the way, I'm going to just give you a little preview here. So these are Nothing uh, groundbreaking revolutionary here, but I, for the Valentine's Day designs, for my Patreons, I wanted to make some nice bit, some nice heart shapes, and I made them really big, um, and you can use them as a stamp brush. So these are really helpful. Um, I find if you want to make, you know, like like you see over here, um, one good idea is to use stamp brushes to establish your shape and then you can either use that as a clipping mask or just use the selection and create a lot of cool things. So I have a lot of different heart shapes that I created. Just nice, basic, different variations um, on the heart. And then for each brush, I made a little stamp brush so you can use it on your design and it 
um, the jitter is going, so, you know, so you can have some fun with those stamp brushes. So for this one, I just use, let's pop this over here, get it um, all zoomed in. So let's peel back the layers. So first of all, yeah, so I just stamped out these hearts, very easy. And then what did I grab? I grabbed my Palm Beach Garden Party brush number two and used one of my pink palettes and made these really cool, um, gorgeous watercolor strokes for the base. And then I used my uh, Jungle Love brush number 21 to add some cool accents. So just adding a, a couple brushes is an easy way to make a cool motif for your designs. And then you can see here, I took wet paint brush number four from my wet paint studio collection and I loaded it up with one of my color palettes. Let's see if it's pop over here. You know, the pink one here, I option select. And so then I've got it loaded up with that nice pink and then I just went around the sides and did like that. So three brush strokes and you've got a cart design, really easy. So let's close that one out. And what else do we got next? Here is another design, another idea. What I did for this one, I like kind of the minimalist sort of effect. And I created a, um, I used my view new guide layout. This is often handy if I want to have make sure that my borders are all the same on either sides. Um, I set my margin here and just make it one column. And then what I did was I grabbed my rectangular marquee tool. Let's peel this back. And so then I selected like this and then let's see here, which one did I do? No, oh, no, no. There you go. So I took, this is number three. I took Modern Impressionist brush number nine. And it's a nice like uh, watercolor. So I just went like this and created this little um, square shape here. But then I wanted it to not be like perfect. So I added these accents and this brush has a pressure sensitivity. So I just hold down my shift key if you want to get a straight line and just played with the sensitivity there and just had a, a nice little extra on the side. And then I used my same selection here and reselect and I used, uh, what was it? The fiber, my couture fiber uh, brush number 13. And I used it one of the 24 karat gold layer styles and I just went around the border here, like you see here. And this is just, I just, it doesn't really matter what color of brush you use because we're using the gold layer style on top of it. But I thought that was cool and added, you know, defined that area. And there you go, just, a, just another example of using one color palette, a couple of brushes, and you have a really cool design and it took like no energy whatsoever. And then let's see, we'll do that one last. Um, here is a little vine motif and I was kind of um, inspired by Bridgerton. So let's see what I did here. I'll make a new layer. I used my, um, I've got some vine brushes. What are they? Spring, something spring vine. I'll link it down below. But basically it's got a slight color jitter in it. This is just a basic one color brush. So I created these little vines and this little design here um, was kind of inspired, like I said, by Bridgerton because um, one of the opening credits, you have all that, the flowers, uh, the purple flowers coming down. So anyway, it's not purple, but that's kind of what I got my inspiration from. So I just drew a few little vines like you see here. And then um, you see that little touch of gold. So what I did was using the same brush, I didn't even change the size because this is pressure sensitive for the size. So I just, 
uh, created a new layer on top of that using the same brush, no change of color, but I added the, like one of my 24 karat gold layer styles. And then I just went over the center with a little um, gold. So that's how I did those. And then I'll make a new layer. And once again, the whole point is to use these new um, Valentine's Day palettes. So I used a uh, Romantic English Garden brush number 10. And I just made some little flowers like this by making a little circle. So, you know, you can just see how I did there. And you've got those really cool color blending um, colors coming out, you know, and you can do different colors too. Do more pinks, but really just did like that. And you've got these nice, these nice little shapes for your flowers. And then what I did was on top of, I created a new layer, made a clipping mask um, to clip onto those little flowers. And then what am I on? Brush number five. I used the celebration splatter brush to create, and I honestly, I didn't even change the, don't even have to change the color palette here, but you can grab another color palette if you want and just made these little splatters on top. And that's how I created the little flower motifs you see here. And once again, using these new Valentine's color palettes. So it's fun and easy. And then let's see here. All right, we are just going through these here. I made 14 different ideas for uh, February 14th. So we're just gonna keep chucking through these. So this is um, another idea, what you can do if you're in a hurry grab some you know ready-made lettering or make your own lettering but in this case what i did was i grabbed some lettering um uh, like a stock photo lettering and the the design was not that great but sometimes if you want to save some time you know you can extract an element so if you see an element that's in a stock template or something like that you don't have to use the whole thing so i took this quote, which looks nice and I don't do a lot of lettering myself. So I just centered it in a card and I used one brush, but changed up my color palettes and made this really gorgeous painterly background. So behind this, um, what do I got? I grabbed Modern Impressionist brush number three. That is cool. It's a, a favorite of mine. And then I just went like this. And what's cool about these brushes is you can do it um, if you like use it uh, soft pressure it has uh, the blend is very smooth but then if you use hard pressure you get more of a the rough transition between the brush strokes so you can just have fun so i just went on this whole background and just kept changing the colors and going like this and i think it's gorgeous um, and you don't even have to really have a plan. You can just go like this and have a little fun and make a beautiful painterly Valentine's Day background. So one brush and then using a bunch of different color palettes or well, five or six from the Valentine's Day collection. So there is an idea for you. That is number six. All right, let's go and get number seven. So this one's kind of fun, a little bit different. A lot of my stuff has like a really painterly sort of look. So, and this one is a little bit like more, it almost looks vector, I would say, but it's not at all. So to start with, I just used my heart stampers. I put two stamps, that's cool, all right. And now I'm gonna make a layer below those. And I'm going to op, um, command and select this layer because I want to uh, keep my, my brush strokes inside that shape, use that shape as a guide. So what do we have here? So I used Rainbow Rebel uh, Lights Brush, which is really fun. And oh, let's see here, did I have it normal underneath here? No. Mm. Oh yeah, okay. Rainbow Rebel Lights Brush. And I think that, let's see here, I'll grab like this. Okay, that looks cool. So yeah, just with that selection going, I'm holding down my shift key because I want to get 
the lines really straight and you can play and grab a different color palette if you want. There's no right or wrong. So I filled up that one. That's cool. I'm not going to worry about it being perfect for the demo. And then now I did the same thing and I grabbed the other uh, heart and I'll put it on a different layer even. And now I'm going to go across here and it's got this cool sort of like light effect. So I think that's fun. And then I thought I would go one better and do the background. So let's see here. I'll make a new layer behind that and let's grab that. I think it was just in a, a red. So holding my shift key, I'm just going to go like this. And I just filled up that background and let's see here. Yeah. And then what I did was I created a layer mask above it and I grabbed my gradient and I actually just kind of like made some parts of it, you know, hid some parts of it. So you have a little bit of like not perfectness. And that is how I made that one. And using the Valentine's palettes there, you can see it's a little bit different, but you can just have fun, but it gives you an idea. So you can use these ideas on your own thing or make something similar and, you know, sell it, do whatever, because that's what I'm here for, here to give you ideas, here to help you make money, make better products, make better designs, whatever. So hopefully you guys will get some cool ideas from this. So this was just the idea to make a painterly background and I did, let's see here, I put this over here so can make some strokes next to it because I'm trying to get through these so I don't want to redo everything. But for this one, it is number eight. So I used one of my favorite brushes on this one. I used Modern Impressionist brush number one. And this brush is really fun because, um, again, I made a pressure sensitivity update. So you can use a light pressure and as you can see you can like the color blending the color gradation is like very soft or you can push down hard and then you've got these big um it's a more drastic uh color sort of gradation as it's coming out of the stroke so you can get different things so for this one i use a pretty good pressure and i just made brush strokes like this and then i changed the color and just layered them on top of each other and you know, you can just have fun. It's like really painterly, just super cool. And then what I did was below the main layer, I added, um, let's see here where I had some hearts. So, but what I did was I used, uh, one, oh, this is a, um, what is it? A paper layer style from my Instagram collection. So I put some hearts behind it and then I put some hearts above it using one of my new heart stamper brushes that are on, uh, that's on my Patreon. So yeah, just had a little fun, added some hearts, super easy. This one is using two brushes. So yeah, that's number eight. I actually can't believe I did this many. <laughs> I was just going to give like a couple of samples, but I kind of went wild. And then I had almost 14 and I'm like, okay, oh, I had 13. So I was like, okay, I'm going to make 14 because it's February 14. Okay. So we are still going and we are going to attempt to keep this in one take, which is crazy, but I usually just do one take of my things. I can't be bothered to edit. Okay. So this one is number nine and we use this one. I use mainly my couture. Uh, my couture fiber brushes. So on the horizontal and vertical strokes here, I just did like this and grabbed a color palette. I don't even know which color palette I grabbed, but as you can see here, yeah, that looks cool. So I made some horizontal strokes. I made some vertical strokes. And then what did I do? That is... Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is my Couture Fiber Brush number eight. And that's a really useful one. I find myself using that one all the time. And, and yeah, these ones were inspired by Guopé Haute Couture, which is really fun. And I love just the, the fibery sort of motifs you can get with this. 
And then I may use brush number 16 to get these nice, as you can see, the vertical um, and horizontal. I did the same thing, but just made some strokes like that. So really fun chain, you know, I think I use like two color palettes to be honest on this. And then just for a little, I always love a little bit of bling bling. I love a little bit of gold. So I made a new layer uh, in between and I added one of my 24 karat gold layer styles and using, using my same brush number 16, I just added these little gold flecks in there and I used a light pressure because it's a pressure sensitive brush and I didn't do it across the whole thing, just little accents and then we have a cool plaid like you see there. So that is fun. Um, I like that one. And then let's see what we got here. Here is number 10. We are still going. So this one, I kind of had the idea of just using these really amorphous, I don't know if that's the right word, but these, um, I thought to use like a basic shape and just show, again, we used one, two, three brushes and you can make a cool, cool pattern. And this one was fun because, let's see here, all right. Um, I kind of think it has like a little bit of a crafty look. I wasn't necessarily going for that, but sometimes I don't know how these are going to end up when I start playing around. So anyway, we, okay, we're on number 10. So this one I used Artistic Autumn brush number 23, and it's just a really nice, I like this, this brush. I think it's really cool. I don't even know if I use the same color on all of them, but it's got a cool look to it. So I just filled that in. And so that way you've got like a nice textured, multicolor base, whatever. I'm gonna leave it like that. So then what did I do? Okay, then I just added a couple different layers of um, tie dye. So for that one, I used, oh, excuse me, tie dye 19B. And so then what I did was I made sure to change up my color palettes and just have a little fun with it. So I didn't, um, so I just went like this and then you can grab like another one. I'll grab like a pinkier one. So just adding a little bit of tie dye above it. And I don't know, I think I want it to be more subtle. So we're gonna use like, a, there we go. So, two brushes now, and then for a little bling bling, we love a little gold. I used um, one of my, uh, a, a leafy brush from my Enchanted Fern Style Start, and I'll have that link down below, but it's just a nice simple brush. So again, since I'm using a gold layer style, it doesn't matter what color I paint it out. So I just went around the edges and I liked that I didn't make it perfect. So sometimes it's thinner, sometimes you see more. And I don't know why, I just got a very crafty vibe from that, but there you go, another idea. That is number 10. And I love mixing up and matching them, mixing up my brushes from different collections. So this one was pretty simple here. Let's turn that layer on. So you can have this two ways. So for this one, I used Modern Impressionist brush number four. And this is cool like this. I, I like that a lot. And to create that, what I did was just grabbed Modern Impressionist brush number four, and I went through and just changed up the color palettes just like this. No sort of order, rhyme or reason. So, and I like to leave a little bit of space between them. I thought that was cool. And also not to make it perfect, you know, it added a little character to it, you know? So I like that how it is. I think it was cool. Like you see here with a little bit of a rougher stripes and you see all the color changing and everything. You could leave it like that. But what I did actually was I took that and I went to, what did I do? Filter. Uh, blur. 
and I did like a motion blur. Yeah. So here's my setting actually for this. This is like 1500, I don't know, five by seven size. And I did like a 93 pixel horizontal motion blur. And I think that's actually cool as well. And what's cool is you still see those changes of the color using those color palettes that I've created. Yeah, there you can see there um, the same. So I think that's really fun. And it looks like, you know, you could have taken a lot of time on it or painting a bunch of colors, but super fast using those ready-made palettes. And don't forget, if you like the idea or you like the concept you see, you don't necessarily have to use this for Valentine's Day. So hopefully you guys can find some value even for um, other holidays or, you know, whatever it might spark something in your head. Okay. So this is very maximalist. It looks a little crazy, like, oh my God, there's so much going on here, but I like it. It's kind of fun, you know, doing a drama for the background and then having it simple and you could put just like a word inside there or something. But this again is my stamp, <clears throat> a stamp brush, just a stamp heart. Excuse me. I think a little tired here. So how did I do this? So it looks a little complicated, but it's just a few brush strokes pretty much. So let's peel back the layers here. Try to turn everything off. And what did I do? So let's go back, hold on. All right, so let's turn that off. So across here, we've got a tie-dye one. And let's see our number 12. So this one I used tie-dye two. And I made these strokes. So I made sure not to just fill in the whole thing. Let's cut that. So I just went like this and lightly using my pressure. Let's see here. I think I went, yeah, like that. And I made like four strokes across using my tie-dye brush two in this pink color palette. And then the gold is also tie-dye. And I'm gonna cut this. So below that, I added a 24 karat gold layer style to my layer, and I used a tie-dye 2B, which is the inverse of that tie-dye pattern. And so I just went like this and made some gold. So there we go. Kind of crazy, but it fills in the gaps of that tie-dye pattern, so they kind of work together and go, go well. And then also, um, you see a little like splatters here. What, where did I put that? Mm. So those were just, mm -mm. those ones I used for the little splatter. Uh, where are we? 12. Um, I forget which brush that is, and I think I might have forgotten to add that here, but. As you can see, there's just a little splatter here, da, 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 and I added those, um, I believe it's from one of my celebration brushes, but I will put that down in there. Wait, oh no, here it is, oh, my goodness. Rainbow Rebel Brush 6C. So I'm gonna just select this layer, ah, oh, there we go. So that was underneath all of that. So as you can see, we have those you know nice little horizontal things. But what I did was I created a new layer below all of those. Using the same color palette, I grabbed Rainbow Rebel 6C and I just made some, oh yeah, that's, okay, hold on. Uh, 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 uh. I saved it as a single color brush here. Let's just pop this here. So grabbing my pattern stamp tool and using the same color palette, I just threw some splatters in there. So anyway, I won't worry about it being perfect, but just to add a little bit of wildness in there as if there isn't enough wildness. And let's see here, what did I do? So then I have those, um, the, these ones going across. All right, so let's turn off the hearts. Yeah, so we had these spaces here. So what for those ones I used couture fiber number five and I just drew across like this easy peasy lemon squeezy and then above it I made a new layer 
and I just used um, one of my heart brushes. And let's see here, did I put that heart brush or no? Uh, I think perhaps I deleted it, but I just used one of my stamp, br stamp brushes and take the size down smaller and just stamped it across and I changed the uh, the blend mode to soft light because I wanted it to be a little bit subtle and you can just pick one of the color palettes because it changes a little bit but because of the soft light you don't get um, it's a little bit more subtle and that was how I made that background. And um, yeah, I'll be sure to add that though for my Patreon so you have that. And then, so you've got kind of got like crazy wild background. So you want to kind of keep the rest of it simple. So then I have the heart in the center and you could just put a little like phrase or something like that. That one's the most complicated there. All right, so that is the verse. That was number 12. We are going through these. I don't know if you're still with me or not, but. I am going to finish this bad boy. So for this one, I thought um, it'd be cool to make like just some really simple flowers and the wet paint brushes for this one I used 13. Ah, uh, yeah. I used my wet paint mixer brush number 34 and it's got a, I love the texture on this brush and it looks like, um, I don't know, it just has a really nice edges the texture blends really nice. So what I did to make these little tulip shapes is I just kind of just made a couple strokes like this. And then I went to my uh, color palette and I grabbed like another color and a option click or alt click if you're on a PC to load up that color palette and just went along the outsides there. So you can see how easy it is to make like a really cool flower motif. And then for the stem, I just used like a light one. I grabbed like one of the light ones and just adding some little leaves. So that's how easy it is. And then just to make a little bling bling over the top, I used, oh, this one is the one I used, um, Rainbow Rebel 6C, just for those little splashes of gold on top. So just, just use the brush. It doesn't matter what color you put it in, but just put some splashes of gold on the top and you have a cool flower motif. So it's not perfect here, but you know, you could put it along the sides of your quote or put it on one side of an invitation or something like that, you know, do something a little bit more refined. But this is to give you ideas. So that's the important thing. Give you some ideas on what to do with the color palettes. And let's see here, number 14. This was actually quite cool. I like how this turned out. So what do we have here? Let's pull back the things. So it's really simple. So I used my heart stamp brush and just stamped out those little heart shapes. That's first of all. And then behind it, I used um, the wet paint brush, uh, brush number two. Ah, I used the wet paint brush from my iridescent collection. And so I took that one and I loaded it up with this color palette here and just made some fun strokes behind like you see here. So it's just that easy to make these really cool, fun strokes like that. And you've got that beautiful, creamy, lovely sort of thing. So those are the original ones that I have. And I stamped it out in that dark red. Okay, so above that what let's see here oh yeah so then i added these i used my iridescent collection and i used one of my confetti brushes and i actually did use the i didn't create a clipping mask here but now i'm going to just create a clipping mask and i used a iridescent brush number um now what is it confetti number 13 from my iridescent collection. And I grabbed this color palette here, that peachy color palette. And I just went over the, the things like this, but I love how it kind of gives it this jewel look. So very cool. And it just, it's different on each one and I didn't do them all the same. So really cool. But then um, below that in between, 
I grabbed the uh, brush number two again, but I used one of the red. I sampled the red from, uh, I believe it was from here. And then I just made these strokes, like you see like that, like there. So I just kind of did different strokes. And I just think it adds like kind of a cool depth and that nice, cool red. So this isn't exactly perfect, uh, as good as you saw beginning here. Let's, let's scroll it back here, but just get the idea. So there you go. Um, and it really adds that depth. And I think that's really, really cool. And I like how, yeah, I love how that turned out. It kind of just looks like glassy or kind of fun. So how, you know, always have fun like layering like that and playing with wet and dry and whatever. So there's some ideas. And then there's one more, number four. This one was like a little bit, uh, I didn't save my brushes here, but we're just gonna peel this back. So for this one, I used like, a, I can't even remember, I used a bunch of different brushes, but they were all from my Galaxy collection, which is, let's see, are right now available um, just on my Patreon. I haven't released it as a product yet, but a lot of fun different brushes. So I'm gonna just pull this back and show you all the layers. Let's see. I added a bunch, but it was really easy. So what I did to start with was I stamped out my stamp and I'm using that. I didn't use it as a clipping mask, Ooh, excuse me, but I just used it as a selection. So I stamped it out and then click option click to use that border shape. And then let's see here. Now these were some of my rejects. Let's see here. So I'm just going to build this up and you can get the idea. So I put the, I added different brushes from this galaxy in, on separate layers so I can kind of play with it. There's some little stars and I just used random different color palettes again from this Valentine's and I kept almost all of them in inside the heart. And as you can see, that one's really cool. I think that one's number 19 brush. You get that really galaxy feeling and it goes with the, with the quote that you see in the bottom. And let's see here, did I add one on top? There's another one, uh, another layer. So everything's contained within that shape. So I use that shape uh, as like a, I didn't use it as a clipping mask this time, but you know, I use the selection. So sometimes you can use those shape brushes like that. And then for the last brush I used, um, this is like a really crazy brush. Uh, I think it's 22. I, let's see, deselect here. So. I didn't have the selection going, and so I had some of it going outside of it. And let me see if I can recreate that a little bit. I think it was brush 22, yeah, very cool brush. So what I did was I just kind of put it close to the edge here and just had it going off a little bit. So just, just a little bit like that, but I had that breaking the border which I like. So you feel the border of that because of the other ones, you feel the border of the heart, but then you have one brush that's kind of breaking the border and adding a little bit of excitement and visual interest. So I think that was really fun and it was actually easy. I just, I mean, I just went through there, grabbed another brush, filled in, grabbed another brush, filled in. So there you have it. I am yachting. I went to the beach today and had a little picnic and got some wind and some sun on my face. So I think I'm a little bit tired, but there you have it. There is 14 different ideas. Hopefully this can get your head, you know, get something going in your head for Valentine's day or for another, for anything else, you know? So even though I'm doing a Valentine's day demo, you know, some of these tips might, you know, trigger something in your imagination for something else. And so just once again, I will have some freebies down below for everybody, social media freebies. Um, all the tools that uh, I'm using on this one are available on my Patreon. And so I'll have it saved as my tool preset file so you can have a little fun and kind of skip the line, not have to search up all my brushes. So trying to make, you know, give as much value to my patrons as possible. And what else? Also, um, if you're not familiar with my color blending brushes, you can, I'll have the link down below and you can download 
uh, a little selection of them for free on Adobe Create. So I collaborated with them to bring um, some samples of my brushes free for everyone. So let me know if you have any questions. Have a great week. Happy Valentine's Day. And yeah, just let me know which one, what you think, and if you have a favorite of any of my demos.